Hey guys, welcome to another Python knowledge sharing video. Previously, we have done the Python and PyCharm setup on Windows system. In today's session, we will cover functions, declaring variables, casting, and how to assign values to multiple variables using single statement. I am creating my function test.py file. So here, uh, how to define a function. So to define a function, we can use def keyword and after that name of the function, which is my function. And inside the function, I'm just printing, this is a function. And uh, that's it I need to write for writing a simple function. Now how to call this specific function. So to call this function, I just need to write the function name and round brackets. After that, I will save and uh, execute the program. You can see this is my function is getting printed on the console, uh, which is being called at line number four. Now, uh, most of the time we need to pass some arguments to the functions as well for the processing of data. So suppose I want to pass one string, my name, and uh, in this method signature also, I am updating it as a name variable. And also in the print statement, I'm adding the name so that I want to see what is the value getting passed to the uh, function. Now I will save and execute this. And you can see Aman is getting printed on the console, the value which we are passing at line number four to the method. Uh, additionally, if we want to pass multiple values, suppose in addition to the name, I want to pass one ID value also, that can also be achieved. Similarly, the uh, method signature will be updated with the second variable and the print statement will also be updated. So here I am passing ID and uh, I will just save and run the program. And we can see in the console, both name as well as ID are getting printed on the console. Now moving on to the next item, which is how to declare a variable in Python. Here I have declared two variable x and name, and I have assigned the value of 10 to x and one string to name. Now I want to print both these variables. So for that, I will be using print statement and comma separated variable names. Unlike other programming languages, you can see we don't need to explicitly specify that x is an integer and name is a string. Python will do that automatically based on the value that we are assigning to it. And now I will execute this program, run basic fundamentals and I am getting both the values printed on the console. As we have not declared anywhere the type of the variables in Python. So what if I want to know what is the type of uh, some specific variable for that in Python, I can use the function type. So here I just want to print what is the type of X. So what I will do type X and that's it. So if I save and run this program, you can see I am getting X is a class of type integer. There is one thing to be noticed here, like in uh, other programming languages, suppose for integer, there is some specific limit to its value that it cannot store more than that specific value. But that case is not here in case of Python. So suppose I am just uh, assigning one uh, large value to X, it will not give me any error. I can also print that value but if i try to do the same in case of uh, suppose java it will give me a compilation error itself that uh, it is out of range for integer so let's just uh, try to save and run it and see if it is working fine and yes it's working fine so x can store any unlimited number of value in python our next topic is casting. Casting is nothing but a process of converting one type of data to another type of data. Now let's see casting with an example. I have a variable uh, and I want to assign uh, suppose a number value 3 but in the form of string. So this is how I will be assigning uh, string variable a the value 3. This will actually act as like this string of 3. So similar to that, I have a variable B and for that I want to assign the value of int of 3. So this will act as straightforward 3. Uh, similarly, let's take one more variable C uh, where I want to cast it to the float. So the number 3, this will actually act as 3.0. So if I try to print all these values, uh, as of now a and b we will not be able to see much difference because both the string and integer they will be getting printed similarly but we will be able to see difference in the value of c 
now let's uh, run this program and you can see this is a which is a string but by default uh, uh, quotes will not be printed on the console so we can see a and b look similar but they are not similar we will show you in a minute and we can see the value of c is 3.0 because it has been casted to float using float method now to print the actual type of uh, these variables we can make use of type function so here i am printing type of a and then value is type of a so similarly i will do it for uh, b and c as well so b c and i will print the values of both b and c and in the type also i will pass those variables so that i am able to get the correct uh, type of those variables i'll just save it and run it and here you can see the first one a is 3 but its type is string you can see it is a class of type string second one is integer and third one is float now let's see our last topic of the day uh, suppose uh, we want to assign multiple values to multiple variables in a single line so there can be two cases first one is all the variables they will have a same value so suppose i'm taking p uh q p is equal to q is equal to r and is equal to 10 so this is how if a uh, common value needs to be assigned to different variables this is how it can be done and in the print i can print p q r and we will see uh, all these variables are assigned a value of 10 you can see 10 10 10 is assigned so what if different values are required so for that case p comma q comma r and in the similar uh, order i need to assign the value so the first value which i will assign here will be uh, first value which i mention here will be assigned to p after that uh, the second value will be assigned to q and the third value will be assigned to r p q r so similarly i will again print all these three values and we will see uh, the different values are assigned to all these different variables so you can see 40 50 60 are assigned to p q r so in the end let's summarize what all we have learned today uh, we have learned how to define a function in python uh, how we can pass argument values to a function and use them in the function itself uh, additionally we have seen how to declare variables uh, if we want to see what is the type of a variable that also how we can check uh, we have also tested the range of integer in python which is unlimited uh, we have seen how to cast one of the values from one data type to another data type like we have seen for string integer and float and in the end we have seen how to assign multiple values uh, in a single line itself in python if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in case you have any suggestions or have any queries please do comment on the videos and for uh, other uh, this type of technical tutorial videos please do check out the playlists available on this channel thanks for watching and i'll see you soon